Right, so, Allight have very kindly sent out the new Warrior 3S tactical power with proximity sensor. Throw 300 meters, maximum 2,300 lumens, which is bright like. And this is the i3T slim pocket light. That takes uh, AAA batteries. This one's rechargeable. That takes AAA. You can put rechargeables in there, I suppose. So let's have a look what's in the box. First off, the little one. The table's wobbling. So you get another fact sheet on the back. I've already opened it, like, but it comes in a bit of plastic packaging. Which I've taken off. So you go, it's like a little pen. It's a clip you can put over your, in your pocket. It's yawn off there. Double click for brightness. One click for low. Double click for bright. We're going to try it out later on when it gets dark. But for now, we're just seeing the functions. Obviously, this is where the batteries go top of there. Feels nice man, look at the quality of that. We got the came with the batteries, two double A. Everybody's got double A batteries. It's got a um, the o-ring on there, so I'm presuming it's waterproof. I'm just looking at that. So it just fold goes back on. Nice feel to it. Hmm. Feels nice. Useful these. Right, so that's the little one. We'll get the big one out now. Comes in a nice box. Opens up. You got your. Gives you a quick run through. Yeah, that's just that's just a quick run through of what, what you can do. It comes in a nice little case. Tactical case. Which just unclips. Hook on things. And you can put three about as well. It's got a little Clip it on your belt. Take it out. And there's the unit. Warrior 3. This is your on off here on the side. There's also on off on the back. This is quick on, quick off. And it's also the charging point. We'll get the charger out in a minute. It just feels nice. That's just a good, nice pocket size. That in here. Wow. Well the charger and the instructions, which I've already had out. So there's the charger, USB. This is the bit like this bit here. Just oh, magnetizes the bottom there. Good strong magnet as well. It takes some pull. That's not going to just fall off easy. That that's quite good because some of them come off too easy. That's a good powerful magnet. Oh. <laughs> Right, so I've charged it up anyway, ready to go. And we're going to see what it can do when it gets dark. So we'll come back when it's dark. I've got the details here, just before we go into the darkness, I've got the details of what you do to switch it on. So on off is just a single click on off. That was, um, it memorizes the last setting it was on. So that was on bright. Right, so when it's on, you change the um, the brightness level. You can hold it, 
and it cycles through. It cycles to it went to dead bright there, like. And it's cycling there now. Ah, oh, so it doesn't do it constantly. You've got to just all oh, right. It just does it once. All right, so that's how you cycle it. Moonlight mode. When the flashlight's off, you press and hold the side switch for a second, and that brings on the moonlight mode, and that's really low light. Basically, for when you don't want to blind everybody. Let's see, turn off. Fast double click on the side, and that's the turbo mode, which is crazy hot, bright. Right, and then it's got the strobe mode. It's triple click. And that's the strobe. Turn that off. Right, so the tail switch it produces different output settings you press lightly or hard so you've got your turbo mode press it down you don't click it on or off you just press it click it on press press that's that's uh you've got to get the feel for that because you can click it off that's turbo mode there so you don't need to click it soft press So that's the that's the way you turn it on and off. That's memorized moonlight mode. So that's that as bright as can be. So it's off. So that'll go back to bright now when you turn it back on. Back to the moonlight. That's it, right. So it memorizes your last one. Right, we'll see how bright it is because the GoPro is known to be bad in low light. So we'll see how good it uh, makes your, low, your GoPro footage when it's dark. Obviously, not dark yet. The sun's going down. Right, so we're in pitch darkness now. So, what I'm going to do is click the back of the torch. That's the back where the um, the charger magnetizes to. There you go. You know how dark it is when GoPros are in low light? I mean, look at that. That's... I think that's turbo mode. Be careful not to blind people in the tents. These are midges you can see. Alright. So that's off. Moonlight mode. Next one up. That's the three modes there. That's the bright one. And then you've got the turbo. Which is mad. <laughs> so if you want to go out with your dog. Where's the dog? Here's the dog. That is bright man. But the downside is that it's getting pretty hot, so you've got to like not have it on turbo for too long. That's better. There, that's more civilized mode. So you get a good few hours with uh, this turbo mode. I think it gives you 23 minutes of that, but you really don't want it that hot. Um, oh, I keep saying hot. You don't want it that high on turbo unless you're really looking for something because the end of it gets really hot um, you've got to be careful as well that it doesn't burn a hole in your tent or your bag so just be careful of that because it does get hot but man it's bright it is bright that's it point up to the sky see all the stars out off Right, let's get the little pen torch out. Bear with us, we're still in the dark here. So click on once, pen torch, that's your moonlight mode. And that's your uh, double click, that's your high brightness. I mean, this is just double A batteries. Even that's really bright. You're not gonna get lost with that. That's a little pen torch. 
How bright is that? Very bright. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to post this little video about this torches here. Um, there's a sale on, so it's expensive on the website at the minute, but with the discount codes and everything that I'm going to put in the links, it's basically half price for the big one. Well, you can see the price for the other one. This is a giant fir tree, I didn't even know that. So that's it, so we'll have a look at the, um, the codes and that in the link, all the descriptions everything I'm very impressed I really am impressed I love a good torch me and I use them all the time I still use the all light I've still got that all light head torch I've got it on red mode at the moment look at that that's red that's the head torch right so we will use the torches on the next camp next wild camp whenever that is Just one last thing that I forgot to add. This uh the Olight, the Warrior 3 has an S on it. The S is for sensor. And it's a proximity sensor. So you got it on turbo mode there, right? You get too close, it powers down. Move away, powers up. Move too close, powers down. Powers up. That's the proximity sensor. And that is to stop you setting things on fire. And to stop dazzling people if they walk in front of you. That sort of thing. But that's the that's the new thing about this is the proximity center. Probably the most important thing, I forgot to mention it in that review. But I'm just gonna add this on at the end. So there we go. Nice bit of kit. I'll put all the links in below. Have a look at it. Lovely, feels nice in the hand. Clips on your belt. You get a little pouch with it, as I showed that. Nice solid click on. Convinced it's waterproof because it's got the O-ring for the battery. Yeah, I like it. <laughs>